Agora, agora, viva. Agora, como tu anda na praia. Aaron run with us. Road trip. <laughs> uh, what are we doing, babe? I'm going to pick up some bolts from a bolt shop. Sounds fun, right? Some special bolts. I've been trying to get these bolts now for about two weeks. I've tried all over the internet. I've tried tons of different bolt shops. I finally um, called this place and they had it. Where are we going downtown? But they, I think the the ones that they have, I need bolts 140 millimeters long. I think they have 120 millimeters. But the the treads and everything else that that they have is correct and the grade. So I gotta modify what I need the bolts for to work with these shorter ones. Thank you for the lesson in bolts. <laughs> Um, we're hungry. It is like quarter past three. And the last time we ate was breakfast, right? Yeah. So I'm like munching on Pringles right now, which is not good. But I'm hungry. Um, and we don't want to get anything to eat until we actually go for dinner because I think I want a red lobster. We can stop now, get a mix with soup. Mm -hmm. So I'm at all, now, get a small sandwich or something. Which is not good either. Or whatever. Um, yeah, and after we go to the bolt shop, where are we going? I mean, to the tool shop. It's a tool shop, right? It's a bolt shop. It's a place that sells bolts and washers and nuts. Only, only fasteners. That's all they sell. Okay, and this is like 40 minutes away, downtown Brooklyn. That's where we're going. So let's go fasteners. What are you guys? getting up to today let me know in the comment section below um we've been a little bit frustrated with okay so right now we're in between changing like networks phone networks then i stop eating my chips really <laughs> you told me you didn't want <laughs> you see hmm Sharon is caring, but this is when it gets like really, really annoying. When you say, do you want me to get you some chips? And no, it's okay. And now you're eating mine. Anyways, I know you're hungry. I am too. That's why I got. Anyways, I got two chips. Why are you taking the one that is open? You don't want the cheddar. He doesn't like cheddar cheese Pringles. So he's eating mine. And I don't like it. I think I didn't have it. I haven't had He's eating my cheddar cheese sprinkles sweet in a bowl. Sour, sweet and sour. Sour cream and onion. And leaving the cheddar. I haven't had the cheddar cheese in about maybe 10 years now. I'll be honest with you. Alright, so, um, what was I saying? Yes. Right now, we're, we have two phones juggling right now. We've got our iPhone 7 Plus and we've got an Android phone. The reason we do that, we the reason the reason is because we're changing networks. We've been with Sprint for like two years now. Yeah. And we've been paying oh, yeah. no, no, it's wait, two, years. two years. We're paying a hundred and eighty something almost two hundred dollars a month for our phone contract and we're not getting like unlimited data and all of that. So our data sucks with Sprint. Yep. Um, <laughs> um, like we have Wi-Fi at home and at work yet our data will be finished in a matter of a week like that doesn't make any sense and we've complained a lot we've got like a month free bill and all of that because of all our complaints and stuff but it's like overbearing right now to the point where we contacted T-Mobile and T-Mobile has agreed to buy out our sprint contract so we're getting to keep our iphone 7 plus and go over to t-mobile get unlimited day. we get unlimited everything and all we pay is a hundred dollars a month for both lines so uh, that is amazing so right now we had to get a phone from t-mobile in order for this contract 
to go through so we have four phones or two phones each juggling right now our numbers are in the process of being transferred to to t-mobile so our sprint number is going to now be a t-mobile number but it's going to be the same number that makes sense yeah but so the transition is happening so basically we have to be using both phones yeah. one one time the iphone will get the message or the other phone will get the other message and then we the miss messages, calls. the phone calls and everything. So you have, we have to have the two phones on us at the same time and it's annoying. And I'm sorry all the Android people out there, but I am not accustomed to Androids. Like I've been using iPhone since iPhones became a thing, since iPhone 4. That's, I've, I'm yeah. always using iPhones. Hmm? Right there? Right where? Yeah, I always use iPhone, so it's a pain in the butt using and an Android phone. It's a really good phone, but I'm gonna send it to my daddy when this whole contract thing is finished. That's what I'm gonna do. So, um, yeah, if I've been missing your calls or your messages, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. Like I've been getting messages like, "What's going on?" Like I'm messaging you. Oh, I tried to call you, and I'm like, and this doesn't happen. No one misses calls from me and all of that. Like, I don't. I mean, I don't miss calls and stuff like that. But it's annoying. So, yeah. Hmm. So. No, let's talk about something else. Danny should look good. Danny she's beautiful. She's sexy. Right? And on Facebook, you know, guys be hitting up on a DM and all that stuff. And I don't Guys, and wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me explain the reason why you're actually going into this right now. Okay. Hold on, wait, wait, So, wait, Daniel... Wait. <laughs> no, no, wait, let, let me, let me, you explain yourself after. <laughs> so, I don't give a damn. You know, she looks good and... Yeah, but I was going to explain how you get access to my phone. I mean, a guy is trying to get, a, a guy is trying to, um, you know, get his game on even though I think it's kind of stupid for a guy to be getting with a, a married woman but my thing is it's a next level when you start calling that person <laughs> so you don't know this person this person don't know you but you think it's fit that okay I found this person on Facebook it's safe to call him so this morning for example some Indian dude. <laughs> um, Video call. She, you know, he messaged you for. She, he messaged for. Yeah. yeah. So you know, we have these things as jokes, uh, as a joke, and what's not. All the time, like. And then he started calling. So then I should give the phone to me. No. You had the phone in your hand. We you have my phone. Oh, so. And it could call the same time. Yeah, he called at the same time. So I answered the phone. I'm like, yo, what's up? And he's like, hello? I'm like, yo, what's up? What do you want? He's like, hello? I'm like, yo, what do you want? He's like, hello? And he's hanging up, hang up the phone. I'm like, they're nervous about these people. Okay. So, Daniel does not have. A Facebook account but well, he has a Facebook account but he doesn't use it for personal reasons and I'm active on my Facebook well not really yeah yeah I'm moderately active on my Facebook right and I'm on I'm on my Facebook getting like news and news feed and updates and stuff from you know not only YouTube but watch it but home and you know updates from St. Vincent and stuff like that so it's like I got tired of telling Daniel like updating him so I'm like you know what babe why not just sign in on my Facebook on your phone like have my Facebook account on your phone so you could have the privilege of you know seeing all the things I see rather than I have to always be telling you what's going on in the world or in at, um, at home in St. Vincent so he has access to my Facebook on his phone <laughs> And every time like a guy messages me on Facebook, like I, I laugh. Like when he's not around, when he's at work and I'm at work and I see a message, I'm like, 
<laughs> I wonder what's his reaction right now. <laughs> and I made him promise, like, not to open any message that anyone sends or anything. Do not go liking pictures and commenting on anything. Just use my Facebook <laughs> news feed. That is it. <laughs> so every time a message comes in, I'm like, oh gosh, babe, please don't respond to this message. <laughs> You've never responded, right? Nah, I don't waste my time. Guys, my husband has my Facebook account. Stop messaging me on Facebook. <laughs> oh, because... He sees everything. Oh, so if, if I didn't have your account, I'll get the messages. No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, like, it doesn't okay. bother me. It doesn't bother but, me. But it doesn't bother me either. I mean, you look good. So, men are going to try and reach out to you. <laughs> you look good. But my, my whole thing is... It gets dumb. It gets to a different level when a man know that you're married. Like it's all over your Facebook page. Uh -huh. You're married, and he's still. But even you. on Instagram, and he's like, still trying something. <laughs> it happens on Instagram as well. It's like, and the thing is, guys, is like, okay, we have these things as a joke. Like he's like, oh, you know, people are using lines and all the stuff, and I'm like, like we have it as a joke. If someone messages Daniel, it's the same thing. Yes, girls, get out of my husband's DM. I see you. I see you. Look, I see you, boo. Them. Yes. <sighs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> but yeah, it's all. That's where trust comes in. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm getting really hungry. When is the next McDonald's? I don't know. 5.8 miles away. What? McDonald's? No. Nah. The place? Yeah. Come on, let's go, people. You are hate New York traffic. Yeah. It's been worse, man. What's this guy doing? Get off your phone, you idiot! He's like on his phone and in the middle of the lane. It's like in both the lanes. Yeah. Stay away from him, please. So the road that we're supposed to take is closed. So what are we supposed to do now, baby? Zone to see what's 
see if they have it. Which I don't. You doubt that they have it. Otherwise, that would have been like one of the first places that you checked, right? Yep. But yeah, guys, so. Um, just had something to eat. Going to AutoZone? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. In 600 okay. feet, turn right onto Humboldt Street. I think. I think we're going to AutoZone. And then I want to go to a beauty supply store. Right? Turn right onto Humboldt Street. Humboldt Street. I'm twisted because one side of me telling me that I need to move on. The other side, I want to break down and cry. Ooh, I'm twisted because one side of me telling me that I need to move on. Can you feel me burning? It's getting hot. <coughs> How can you just leave me here by myself? Just hit the lock button on the door. You, can't the door. Right. you parked illegally, aren't you? I don't know. And you're just leaving me here. I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> Somehow, when you are, I'm back. it's more like I toured with the vehicle. What oh, happened? God is good. <clears throat> Come on, I guess. No, I guess. no. Like, like you do, okay? All right. He's gone. Like he just left me on the side of the road. <laughs> okay, let's lock this door. Up the ass. And he actually took the music with him. Like his phone is connected to the um, the car, and the further away he gets, <laughs> the more signal is lost. He's gone. Just here by myself in an unknown area, parked illegally. What the freak, Daniel? As long as you wrap your arms around me Ooh, baby, I don't care